G'day everyone, welcome back to Dave's Epic Podcast. Well, we're going to have a bit of a go at showing you a bit of an idea of um, building rock or stone walls in the years of the track, which sort of makes it look a little bit um, good old world, sort of that sort of thing. Um, a little bit different than uh, the old Armco railing all the time. So um, anyway, what I've got is this um, insulation foam, which is here. So it's a thick stuff you can get from Bunnings. It's a pretty big sheet and it'll probably enough to build Mount Everest, really. Um, so you need that. You can either use one of these hot wire cutters, which are really good and quite cheap, actually. Off, I got it off Evil Bay um, and it's been a beauty so far, so good. Um, you'll need a pencil and... Um, the next step we'll go through on other bits and pieces, how to seal it, um, how to give it a wash and then do your colour and then highlight different parts of the rock. So um, anyway, I'll show you what we've got to do here. And uh, so we turn it on. And as you can see, it gets pretty warm straight up. And it just like, just like hot knife through butter. She works pretty good. So we'll go down to about half. Um, this is really handy if you want to do some other stuff to mountains. Um, you name it. You can do lots of things with this foam. So, I know, so um, about there we'll go. And we'll just go straight down. Done. Right on. Put that down there. Okay. So once we've got our length of wherever we're going to put it, so roughly here. Then we'll just um, we'll cut it to a thickness of what we want. So um, I have prepared another one earlier. So this is the bit I've cut earlier. So um, you've cut it all down, cut it to the width that I want, and it doesn't matter if you're not perfectly square. Um, rock walls are often all over the place, and um, which is part of part of the um, the charm. Of using these rock walls I think anyway so that's what we've got now to do this to make it into a rock wall this is where your pencil comes in handy so what we'll do is work out the place we're going to put it so say sitting there okay so we'll just turn the camera a bit so there it is so that's where we're going to put it roughly around there kind of use it width wise for a um, one of the widest cars coming out so that's that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got that more than enough, and it'll made up with um, our old friends down there in the corner there. So what we'll do is I normally just get hold of the pencil, and I'll say start from this end, and I'll just go straight down with the line, the groove. Hope you can see that. Screws right through. This is one of your your layers. Um, I'm not up to the terminology of rock wall building, but um, anyway, so that's what we'll we'll have a go at. So that's that one. So we might probably get three layers in here. Now it doesn't matter if you go. They've got to be horizontal or anything like they can do a bit wriggly. Um, you can actually do a spot where they've repaired the the wall. I've done two on that other one, so you might do a bit of a, a rhyme there, and a bit of a thing here, that type of thing, and then we keep going a bit more wriggly, and we'll follow that right through until we get to the other end. So it's not not too hard at the moment. So uh, right, so. So that's what we've got so far. So we've got two lines through there, and this is the top edge of the of the wall through here. So um, so that'll be sitting there right on this spot, as you can see, and uh, then we'll go from there. To, we'll keep building along actually later on. So anyway, you're the brick eye or stone mason or whatever you want to call it. So you can start just start doing your own bricks. The way you want to do it. 
That's the beautiful thing about it. There's no wrong way of doing it. There's no right way of doing it. There's just your way of doing it. So you can do whatever you want. Um, if there's any stone wall people out there, I'm probably doing it the wrong way, but it's my racetrack. <laughs> um, so that's good. But anyway, so this is what we do. So you just do the whole, the whole thing. So what I try not to do, but it doesn't always work, is... You know, you you got one line there and another one there, so you don't try to do the next brick. So it's half and half. Same as this one. Then you can put in little ones, one in the middle, that type of thing. So you can hope you can see that. You start to see what we're getting at. So once you've done that, this is what it turns out to be. So you've got all your lines done. Um, there's a couple little tricks here you can do. You can push in a few rocks, because once you've done all the, the actual lines, and to give it a bit of character, you can push in a few rocks over there, and it's easy to do. Um, so you can do that. You can roll some of the edges, like from weathering. You just use your pencil. See how it just rolls it. That type of thing. You can see how the lines aren't perfectly straight. Yeah. So these have been here for a long time. That's what I'm saying anyway. So you can do that. Um, put in extra lines if you're not happy with something. But um, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward sort of way of doing it. And very cheap too. Um, so that's what we'd be doing there. So again, it'd be being put there. I rounded the edge in here. And I've done the stonework around accordingly. And all the stonework is is done on the top. So you always got a central backbone, backbone right through. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. So anyway, um, so that's what we've done so far. And um, I'll uh, glue it in place and I'll be back shortly. Okay, well, what I've done now is... Put it in situ. I've used a couple of nails just to hold it in place, and I've used some tacky craft glue to hold it in place. Um, now, what we do next is we have a mixture of Mod Podge. Now, Mod Podge is a good sealant for this type of um, uh, foam. It's uh, it just gives it a nice feel, uh, seal where you can paint it, so you won't get any of that paint being sucked into the the actual foam. So that's a, a thing you must get if you're going to use this stuff. Um, you can use watered down PVA. It takes longer. This has something else in it. I don't know what it is, but it, it is a little bit something, a bit different. So what I do, I mix up a Mod Podge with some grey acrylic paint. So that's all we use. And that I'll paint over that now. And that'll seal it all up. So... We'll just um, grab a brush. Okay, so this is it. So what we do is just so you can see it's pretty easy to, to put on and um, the old foam gets in there sucking it in. So um, uh, takes a little while to dry. It's not too bad. It's pretty quick, really. Um, I normally leave it overnight. So when I come back tomorrow in the morning, it'll be um, it'll be nice and dry and solid. And um, could do uh, actually mix up a coat of colour then to put over the actual wall in. And I'll get to do with the other one on the other video. So. Now that really brings out the the texture. I'll just zoom that in there for you. As you can see, it um, it really does bring out all the all the bricks and that type of thing. So that's pretty cool that way. Um, anyway, so that's this part of the of the journey of making our brick wall or rock stone wall, whatever you want to call it. So, um, but they do look pretty good. 
And that's our the one there I did the other day. And uh, the other beautiful thing about the Mod Podge is that it's a satin or matte. So it does dry nice and matte. Um, and that way you can actually put other um, clears in there, glosses if you want to do a bit of water trickling down or something of that nature. So that looks pretty cool. So um, I'll be back soon. Okay, that's all done now. It's all nice and dry. So we'll just remove the um, tacks I'll put in here just to keep it in place. All done. Now, what we'll do next is we'll give it a, a mix up a bit of paint. Now, what we use the old plastic, old plastic plate. So that's just got some brown, some ochre, lamp black, and um, we use a bit of. Well, this is bone white, but white will do. Doesn't matter. And they're all acrylic. And you can get them from your local craft shops, that type of thing. Um, your hobby shops, you know, like, I don't know, um, Jolly Ollie or Shiploads or something like that, whatever, reject shop. So, and they'll do this, no problems at all. So, um, what we'll do is, we'll get a bit of water, as you can see here. It is just the water, and um, we'll just do a bit of mixing. So, we want to get back to that grey sort of, brownie sort of colour, so we'll just do a bit of, bit of this. Bit of that mix in a bit of brown keep going with white a bit of touch of ochre you can get that sort of colour in it and a bit of water and away we go so you just just a matter of and you can always change this colour as you go on too so um it's not a it's not a thing that um, you've got a be set formula or any of that nature if you want to change the colors make it a bit darker a bit lighter in areas no big deal just do it because it all um it all helps getting the um, well being all different rock rock textures and colors and stuff like that um it just looks good you know when you have a look at rock walls and sometimes i mean sometimes you see them they're all perfectly and all that sort of stuff, but, you know, it's good to have a bit of variety and that type of thing. But you can see how it's starting to, how it's starting to change now. I'll just zoom in a little bit for you to have a look. Oh, that's as much as I can zoom in, so. Um, but you can see the difference now. There's the, the one I did the other day. And this is our new one we're doing, so. Um, yeah, it's um, it's starting to starting to come on quite differently now. Just t starts to take a, uh, a more of a realistic look. So um, and it doesn't take that much to to fiddle around. And this is this brush is a is a hog's hair brush. It's just a round. Um, I don't know what number it is. It doesn't actually say. But anyway, it's only a small round. You don't need any huge on these sorts of things. Um, so, I'll just get that quickly done. And you can see how it's all starting to, to turn up. And the other good thing about these things is that you can actually um, do all sorts of covers. Okay, now this is pretty much done now. Um, what I've done is picked out some random colours from the brickwork, as you can see. All these colours have all just come out from the palette that we actually used, had originally. So um, you can just highlight. So what I've done is added the grass, cut out little bits of grass, glued it along. Had an old, um, I printed an old shell sign, similar to the one we used over there, and uh, glued it on done the grass and uh, yeah so that's how it all turns out um, but with the colouring of the rocks it's just a matter of going back to your palette picking up a couple of colours that you that you want to look at and that you're happy with 
You don't want to try and rock like that. The top thing, and then you just highlight one of the rocks. That's all. So you can just do that. You can do a little bit of edging down there like that. Um, so there's lots of ways. I mean, really, there's um, it's this. It's just how you want to do the rocks. Um, you know, you can just put little bits of white there and anything that you really want, really. So, and if you're not happy with the colour, you just mix up something else and go over it. Change the look of it. That's all. So it's pretty easy to do. There's no, there's no, um, you know, science with it or anything like that. You've got to do this and do that. It's how you want to do it. So that's the, the beauty of it. So um, anyway, that's how the, the rock walls are made. Well, that's the way I do them anyway. Um, but uh, I hope you you like and found this sort of interesting. But the other good trick about it is too, if you have a look right there, you see this one has been cut. And the other end has cut the other one. So when they'll actually go together, they'll actually line up. Similar to what I did in this corner over here. Um, where was it? I think it's somewhere around here, somewhere. I actually did it, there it is there. So I did a zigzag around there in this spot here. There in this spot. So I actually did a zigzag cut around there to say the two rock walls would make together pretty okay and uh, so the green grass is done and uh, the shell signs on and I just wait for it to dry so I hope you found this is interesting and um, help um, inspire you to do other bits and pieces and um, anyway like and subscribe if you can if you do <laughs> and we'll go from there so um, thanks again for watching see you next one bye Thank you.